Hello everyone, I'm Luis Menendez from Easy Reads. And I am Ines Moraleda. And today we are going to show you how to make a Rotifer culture in a very simple way. With this product that many of you already know. Actually, it is not more than a mixture of different species of phytoplankton. It contains Nanochloropsis gaditana in a 80% and a Tetracelmis chui in a 20%. Ines, could you explain to me why it is better to use CC Roddy instead of phytoplankton grown at home or purchased? Anyone who has had phytoplankton culture at home knows that it is very difficult to maintain because certain parameters such as carbon dioxide, oxygen or pH cannot be controlled. In addition, at home, we can't provide our phytoplankton with certain micronutrients that are necessary for the rotifer. However, Easy Roddy is already balanced for optimal rotifer growth. There is always the option of buying live phytoplankton, although large volumes are needed for an average rotifer culture, and this is sometimes difficult to acquire. For example, for an average culture of about 2 liters like the one we have here, we will need half a liter of live phytoplankton daily, and this is not always possible. With Easy Roddy, we always have available food and its conservation is very easy since it does not need refrigeration or agitation before its use. In addition, you can find the Easy Roddy in different formats, both 250 milliliters and 1.5 liters, so you can choose the one that best suits your needs. As all fans of aquariums know, the live food in the marine aquarium is very important, especially for the correct nutrition of larvae and fingerlings, and also for corals and small invertebrates. And since it is not always easy to find live food, why not grow it at home? In this simple tutorial, Ines will teach you how to grow it. Before showing you how to make a rotifer culture, let's talk a bit about this little animal. Their size ranges from 100 to 300 microns, and in this picture we can see a female. They are part of the zooplankton and are very important because they form the basis of a trophic chain. In this video you can see how through these little hairs called cilia, the rotifer creates a current to attract phytoplankton cells to its mouth. Here we can observe in more detail the complete cycle. You can see how it introduces the phytoplankton in its mouth, how its digestive tract is green, and there we can see how it defecates. Its life cycle is very short, between 5 to 8 days, and using Easy Roddy we will see that its culture is very simple. We are going to need a rod of inoculum, a hollow steering rod, a rigid tube, an air pump, seawater at a density of 1018, of course, easy roddy, a syringe, and a collection mess. As we can see, our inoculum is 1500 millimeters. We mount the aeration system to which we have attached a small valve to regulate the flow. Likewise, we have made a small cut to the hollow steering rod so that the bubble is larger. We introduce the rod into the inoculum. We regulate the flow to be smooth and we can already see how the bubble comes out. It is important to maintain a smooth airflow because smaller violent bubbling could cause the female rotifers to lose their eggs, leading to a less productive culture. We use the syringe to feed with our product, the Easy Roddy. Now we're going to feed our inoculum with Easy Roddy. For this, we take the necessary amount of product according to the volume of our culture. In our case, it will be eight millimeters. We load a bit of seawater into the syringe to make the mixture well. We create a small air chamber and shake it. And now we can feed our culture. We add everything. Finally, it will be necessary to top off the spare volume with seawater. Now we would have our culture.
After 24 hours, we can see that instead of a light green, our culture will have a more yellowish color. This tells us that the rotifers have fed. Now we're going to harvest the rotifer. We're going to harvest the 25%, that is half a liter. We remove half a liter and filter it with a 50 micron mesh. That allows us to retain the rotifer and discard the water. We can help ourselves with the container and filter it little by little. We have already collected the rotifer and now we can use it for a fry or corals. You have just seen how to make a culture in a very basic way, but we also want you to see that it can be done in a slightly more sophisticated way like this one that we have here. Each of these cylinders has a volume of 2 liters and have a particularity that we can both harvest and feed through this lower tube. Likewise, if you take a look, we have given the system a larger and slower bubble flow to create an adequate turbulence. This large, slow and smooth bubble creates an adequate turbulence so that the rotifer does not lose its eggs. We are going to harvest half a liter. For this, we simply open this valve and we will have it in a container. Once we do the harvest, we add seawater at a density between 1018 and 1019. We're going to feed our culture. So we take 8 millimeters of easy roddy. We create an air chamber and connect the syringe at the end. Then we open the valve, add a bit of water from the culture, shake it, and then simply inject the food. We should remind you that although this method is a little more comfortable, it is still a manual feeding method. To filter it, we proceed in the same way as before. We take the mesh, we pass the rotifer slowly through it, and we would already have the rotifer available. So simple. We present the reactor that we will soon market. Stay tuned because soon we will upload a video explaining how it works. Rotor for Culture is going to be fun and easy with Easy Reefs Reactor. To give you an idea, using yeast for our culture rotifers, we can reach densities of between 50 and 80 rotifers per milliliter. Using phytoplankton grown at home, we will reach a culture density of between 200 and 300 rotifers per milliliter. And by using Easy Roddy, we can reach a density of 600 and 900 rotifers per milliliter. Well, we hope this tutorial has been useful and it will enable you to grow your own rotifer cultures at home. Don't hesitate to leave your comments below and we will answer your questions. You can also like and subscribe to our channel to see more videos that we will upload soon. For more information, don't doubt to follow our social medias on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.